Your muscles can use glucose or it can use fat. If you work out, you can burn off your muscle glycogen. And then if you're not fat adapted, then you will feel weaker. And people say, oh, they do these studies. And, you know, we found that when people fast, they're not as strong. Yeah, because your muscle, and remember, the muscle is a separate compartment. So the muscle glycogen is only for the muscles, right? So even if you deplete your glycogen in your liver, your muscle still has glycogen. But if your muscle has never used fat as a fuel source for, you know, 50 years, then you do the study and you say, okay, I fast, I deplete my muscle glycogen, you will be weaker because your muscles don't know how to use the fat. It takes a few weeks before you get that back. But then they do these studies and I see these studies published all the time. And they're like, I told you fasting make you weak. It's like, no, it's like running. If you've never run for 50 years and then do a, you know, half marathon, you'll feel terrible and you might hurt yourself badly. You need to take it easy because you haven't done it in a long time. Same thing with the fasting. You got to get your muscles adapted to that fat so that when they run out of the muscle glycogen, they can switch over to fat. And they've shown, they've done muscle biopsy studies where they've shown there's all these changes in the genetics, various genes are being turned on, various genes are being turned off so that you develop the ability to use fat as a fuel. But it doesn't happen if you do it once. So you will be weaker because your muscles are trying to use glycogen. They haven't yet developed the genes and the ability to use fat as a efficient source of fuel. And then you switch over, but they have all these ultra marathoners who do super low carb and Tour de France winners and all this who have done that. So yeah, absolutely can be done, but don't expect it to be right away. It just doesn't happen.